Hey guys, welcome to the 64th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the question mark question mark operator. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and this code right here. So right here, we just have a string called my string and it's set equal to null. And we also have an if statement checking to see if the string is equal to null. And if the string is null, then we'll have a message box displayed to say the string is null. But otherwise, we get a message box saying the string. So since this is equal to null up here, we'll just get a message box saying the string is null. Now, yep, the string is null. But if we were to set the string equal to anything besides a null, even like an empty string, um, then we would get a message box saying uh, the text of the string. Yep, we get out. And the question mark question mark operator basically allows you to do the same thing as this, only way quicker. You need to type out way less. Now, you could also use the ternary operator in this case, but the question mark question mark operator is even easier yet. So, um, all we're going to do here is we're going to set this back and keep it null. And we want to have a message box display this string unless it's equal to null. So, we're just going to do a message box dot show my string unless it's equal to null. So we'll just do question mark question mark and then whatever we want it to be displayed in the message box if this is null. So we'll just say the string is null if um if this is equal to null. So this should do the exact same thing as before, only as you can see it's now on one line and it's even easier than the ternary operator. Yep, we get the string is null because it is null, but if we set the string equal to anything besides null, such as Adam, we should just get Adam in a message box now. Yep, we now have Adam in a message box. And you can do this with integers as well. For example, if you wanted to set int i equal to null, and just do this, but as you can see right here, we get an error saying um, cannot convert null to int because it is a non nullable value type. And in order to solve this error, you're just going to want to put a question mark right after the type. So this is an integer, so we're just going to put a question mark right after that. And now we can set it equal to null. And this will work with all non-nullable types, so like u integers and stuff like that. So now we set i equal to null, and we want to set int x equal to i. But if it's null, we want to set it equal to um, 8. And then we're just going to display that in the message box to make sure that our uh, question mark question mark operator is working. So now we should get a message box saying 8 because i is equal to null. Yep. But if we set uh, i equal to anything besides null, like 0, then we should get a message box saying 0. Yep. So that pretty much covers it on the uh, question mark question mark operator. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called like null coalescing or something like that, but I didn't really say that because there's no way that's how you say it. But anyways, see you guys.